In the space on the back of the great turtle, four broad-shouldered giant elephants are lying and carrying planet-sized flat disks. A planet contains many beautiful oceans, continents, great civilizations, cities, forests, and mountains. The story of the turtle is unknown to the rest of the world. Several astrozoologists of the Kroll Kingdom are on a mission to prove the existence of the giant turtle, which is carrying the weight of their planet on his back. The early astrozoologists brought back a lot of knowledge about the shape and makeup of the sea turtle. Still, more was needed to answer essential concerns about the nature and meaning of the universe. They are dedicated to their work, but the mission to solve the mystery of turtles' existence becomes impossible when the big question arises. What is the gender of turtle? Astrozoologists had some possible answers, but more is needed to answer the question correctly, and the last mission has yet to succeed. To fulfill the task, the decision is made to ship the brand new expedition to the edge of the disk to find the answer to the big question, the gender of the turtle. Ankh-Morpork, with its stunning islands, lies a thousand miles from the Kroll, the world's oldest and largest city. The first tourist of the disk's world, Two Flower, is on the ship in the water moving forward and is visiting Ankh-Morpork, the ancient city. He is looking at all the sights around the boat. On one side, his eye stuck to the tall building of an unseen university. Wizards are generally not thought of as being very nice people. They are engaged in malicious activities. Eight heads demonstrate the power of remarkable survival because behind every eighth-rank wizard, at least one seventh-rank wizard tries to push him away. All wizards are gathered in a big hall to pay their respects to the old brunette wizard. Suddenly, the door opens and an older adult in a red dress with a white beard comes forward. He introduces himself as Rincewind and apologizes for being late. Rincewind is the worst of all wizards because he can't remember any elemental spells or even show up on time to wizard meetings. The authorities expelled him from the Unseen University after he spent 40 years failing to learn even the most basic magic. Furthermore, Rincewind's head holds one of the eight spells from the Octavo, the most powerful spellbook in the Discworld, and he has been unable to learn others because they were afraid to be in the same head as the Octavo spell. He is thrown out of the university along with his luggage, and the sad and disappointed older man moves toward the city. Two Flower, an insurance clerk from the Agatine Empire who has come to visit Ankh-Morpork, is standing in the market and asking for his hotel address. Rincewind notices a gold coin in his hand and starts chasing tourists. Two Flower, though only a clerk, is rich compared to the inhabitants of Ankh-Morpork. On reaching the hotel, the tourist finds difficulty communicating with the hotel manager due to the language barrier. Rincewind, hiding behind the wall, came forward to benefit from the situation. He speaks with the tourist in his language and others get shocked. Tourists ask him about the Unseen University and its charm around the world, and he shows his intention to visit the university. Still, the wizard told him that the university was closed because there were exams. In addition to this, Rincewind told the Two Flower not to trust anyone here because these people belonged to different gangs and could kill him for the gold. As the people at the hotel standing around the Two Flower came to know about the tourist bag full of gold, the news spread quickly among the gangs. The information about the gang saddened the Two Flower, and to save his money from thieves, he appointed Rincewind as his tourist guide, offering a large amount of money in return. Two Flower is the most naive person on the disc because he sincerely believes that no harm will come to him since he is only a spectator. He paid the Rincewind a fee in advance for his services as a guide. After receiving money, he knew the sensible thing to do was to buy a horse. It would have to be a fast and expensive one. Riding on the horse towards the Patrician Palace, the Rincewind was thrilled. On entering the Grand Patrician Palace, he accidentally crosses the gate without stopping. He is accused of stealing a horse. The king gives him punishment and that is to serve as a tourist guide to Two Flower. People from the Assassin Guild and the Thieves Guild, on the other hand, came to the hotel in search of tourists, a gang who wanted to kill a Two Flower for money, and an older man named Ruff came to protect tourist rights and increase trade with him. Ritzwind returned to the hotel and helped the Two Flower get out of this mess. Everyone has interests related to tourism. Coming back to the Unseen University, the most incredible book of all time, the Octavo, is located in a specially sealed room in the basement of the Unseen University's library. The book contains eight spells that the creator used to create the Discworld. Although it is not impressive looking, the spells within make this book so dangerous. It is advised to stay in the room for a short time and never read from the book. Meanwhile, a significant power struggle is occurring within Unseen University. In the competitive world of wizardry, the way to the top is via dead men's pointy shoes.
the power-hungry wizard Imper Trimon, vying to become the next Archon Seller of Unseen University, plays out a battle for supremacy with the university's other senior staff members. He wore the dead man's shoes and visited the great library of an unseen university, where he saw the great octavo book. He wants to read it, but the librarian is new, so he doesn't know how to open the lock. As Imper threatens him, he feels frightened and gives the address of the old librarian. Furthermore, the next day, Imper visited the old librarian. He entered his house by sliding the door forward, and a loud noise appeared. An older man feels frightened after seeing the yell so close to him. Imper told Spell, the older adult, in a loud voice that he was there for Octavo and wanted to know why Octavo was in trouble. Mr. Spell made it clear that the reason for this trouble was that one spell from the book was missing and hazardous. Imper looks angry after hearing the information. He threatened Mr. Spell to tell him where that one missing spell was, but unfortunately, Mr. Spell also didn't know. Tryman gets angry and makes him a monkey. Rincewind and Two Flower visit a mountain, a home to dragon riders who summon their dragons by imagining them. They saw the vast mountain in front of them, which is the Two Flower, but Rincewind didn't believe in the dragons. They got separated when the riders attacked them. A loud roaring voice appeared, frightening them. Two Flower vanished, and Rincewind began running. Rincewin escapes capture but is forced by Kring, Run's sentient magical sword, to attempt to rescue his friend. After getting help from the sword, Rincewin meets with Lisa, the princess of Wurmburg. First, she tried to fight with the Rincewin sword, but after defeat, he told them that Two Flower was in prison within the Wurmburg. Rincewin put a sword in her neck and told her to ride there. They sat on a giant dragon and reached the Wurmburg, where Lisa fought with the Rincewin. On the other side of Wurmburg, Two Flower is captured. His interest in dragons enables him to summon one more fantastic dragon than those of the Wormberg Riders, who he names Ninaritz. He feels happy after talking with the dragon. He uses this dragon to escape captivity and save Rincewin from being killed in a duel with one of the three heirs of the Wormberg. Two Flower, Rincewind, and Ninaritz snatch run, but as they attempt to escape into the skies, Two Flower passes out from a lack of oxygen, causing Ninaritz to disappear. The Krullians then take Rincewin and Two Flower to their capital, where they learn that the Krullians intend to discover the sex of Great Atuan by launching a space capsule over the edge of the disk and plan to sacrifice Rincewin and Two Flower, try to get the god Fate to smile on the voyage. They are trapped in the palace, and in their search for a way out, they come across the astronaut suits. They wear them and enter the spaceship, which is going to find out information about the giant turtle. Two Flower enters the spaceship and takes his seat. He is wishing to see the other worlds of the universe, but Rincewin cannot get into the capsule in time and falls off the disc alongside it. The luggage given to Rincewin by Two Flower also follow him. In the university, Trimon asks the Master for help. Master and Trimon devise a plan to kill the Rincewin and reclaim the Eighth Spell. The Eighth Spell should be called together, according to Master, or it will cause problems. Trimon intends to kill the Master after receiving information from him, but the librarian's appearance deters him. The librarian was looking very afraid because he saw the Octavo going really deep. He asked Master and Trimon to come and see what was happening with Octavo. The university's wizards are all curious about Octavo. They open the door of the chamber where the books are kept. The dark light appeared from the Octavo and moved upwind. Everyone is wondering where the light goes and they run to follow that dark light. The shape of a large turtle appeared from the light and spread throughout the town. All wizards reach the roof of the art tower to see the light. That light goes into the sky and becomes a red star, which surprises everyone. The Archian Seller observes the Octavo's actions and reveals his plan to use the Rite of Ashkent to question death about the Octavo and a large red star that has recently appeared in the sky. Trimon will throw the Arch-Chancellor from the roof and succeed him as Archian Seller. Two Flower, on his visit to space, is enjoying the view with his large ball eyes. Meanwhile, somewhere, Rincewind was not enjoying the view and was attracted to the giant turtle. He fell to the ground in the large forest, and when he turned his face toward the sky, he saw a star getting bigger. The night is coming, and Rincewind is lost in the forest, asking for help. He spent all night in the dark forest to find the two flowers in the luggage. The following day, Rincewind finds the two flower on top of the tree. At first, the thought comes to his mind that two flower may die, but later, he realizes that two flower is waiting his hand and has not died. The people of Ankh Morpork, an ancient city, grow worried as a large red star appears in the sky and becomes more prominent daily.
the wizards at Unseen University cannot stop it from growing, so the citizens gather in front of the university, demanding that the wizards explain themselves. Inside the Unseen University, all wizards gathered for the changing arch and cellar ceremony. Tryman becomes the university's new chancellor, and all power lies in his hands. He looks delighted after wearing the long red cap of the arch and cellar. Changes are suggested at the university following the new chancellor's order. Rincewind and Two Flowers started moving further to find the luggage, and on the way they saw an ancient civilization residing in the forest. They hide behind the tall tree to find out about that civilization, but suddenly luggage appears near them. Behind the baggage, an elderly cone the barbarian approaches the Rincewind. Two Flowers started capturing pictures of ancient civilizations with his strange camera. The people there were performing a ritual in which they sacrifice humans. As Two Flower attempts to stop the druids from sacrificing a young woman named Bethan, Conan the Barbarian, an octogenarian parody of Conan, attacks the druids. Rincewind accidentally falls on the ground, and the spell of a book appears in his mind, telling him to return to the university and ask him about the eighth spell. So it can say spells, but Rincewind wonders why the book wants to say the spell, and in return, the book says it wants to get rid of that spell. After hearing this, the Rincewind returns to his senses. Tryman performs the Ash Kent Rite to summon death. He asks the dragon why the Red Star was getting bigger. He learns at the end that all eight spells in the Octavo must be recited together at the solstice to save the Discworld from destruction. Otherwise, the world will disintegrate. The eighth spell is in the head of Rincewind, and no other person knows about it. Death tells him about the current location of Rincewind. Tryman needs to find Rincewind alive to hear the spell. He sent a group of mercenaries, led by Harina, to capture Rincewind alive and retrieve the eighth spell. Tryman gathered the wizard for the meeting, where they discussed the essential points. The first and most important step was to capture Rincewind and Star. The last thing was to deal with the town's people standing outside the university and protesting. Several wizards travel to the Forest of Skun to try and capture Rincewind, who is currently staying with Two Flower and his luggage, an animated and sapient suitcase in a gingerbread house in the forest. When the ensuing chaos and the wizards start attacking them, it becomes impossible for Rincewind and Two Flower to escape. Two Flower is left in a coma after a battle between the wizards, and Rincewind rescues her from death's door. Rincewind's soul also leaves his body when he drinks beer. This engulfed him in a nightmare in which Two Flower and Rincewind die. Furthermore, Rincewind, Two Flower, and Bethan decide to accompany Cohen to a nearby town. On the way to the city, Cohen, Rincewind, Two Flower, and Bethan are attacked by heroes that Tryman sends to capture Rincewind. He captured all of them and tied them to the wall. Heroin in a black dress stood in front of them, making it clear that unseen universities need Rincewind because he is essential for wizards in the university. However, the large, massive thunderstorm begins to shatter everything and everyone present inside, sending everyone fleeing. Heroin failed to capture the Rincewind. The heroine and his members carried Rincewind and Two Flower to the island to send them to the university, but the old Cone Barbarian fought with the group and killed all of them. They finally freed themselves from the enemy. They escape into one of many shops that sell strange and sinister goods. These shops' existence is explained as a curse by a sorcerer upon the shopkeeper for not having something in stock. Rincewind saw the disk of wickedness in the shop used by the wizard to contact the dead. Accidentally, Rincewind reveals that he is a wizard, which shocks Two Flower, but Rincewind denies that he cannot do magic. Using magic, they can return to Ankh Morpork via the shop, but their entry is only temporary. Tryman again assembles the senior wizards of the university at the meeting table and discusses with them the agenda of the meeting. He told them he wanted to unlock the book and use it with four spells. The senior wizards are dissatisfied with Tryman's decision because it is risky and may cause distraction from the real world. But Tryman orders them to unchain the octavo. When they release the spell book, Tryman steals it and locks the senior wizards in the book chamber. Rincewind and Two Flower reached the Unseen University and saw many people gathering outside. They ran into the Unseen University and saw the senior wizard locked in the book chamber. Rincewind used his magic to open the door and set them free. Wizards give him all the information about Tryman and how the spell in Rincewind's head is essential. A loud noise appeared, and they all ran toward the roof. The Tryman had opened the way for demons. However, Tryman says the spell successfully and throws the empty book, which falls on the head of Rincewind. After reading the book, he gains near-ultimate power. He asked Rincewind in a loud, angry voice for the eighth spell, but Rincewind refused to tell him. Tryman tried to use his magic on Rincewind but failed. He turns the wizards to stone, and Rincewind fights him. Rincewind and Two Flower managed to kill Tryman, 
whom the octavo had mutated. The eighth spell is expelled from Rincewind's head, completing the set of eight spells. Rincewind reads the spells aloud, causing the eight moons of the Red Star to crack open and reveal eight tiny world turtles that follow their parent, a Tuin, on a course away from the star. The octavo then falls into the luggage's mouth. Two Flower and Rincewind go their separate ways. Two Flower returns home, and Rincewind decides to re-enroll at the university. Cohen and Bethan also leave together, having decided to get married. Rincewind believes that with the spell out of his head, he will finally be able to learn magic.